Hey Mike, um, here's how I do the back side of these uh, tenons for you guys. Um, I've got several of these small pieces of wood here that I kind of use in my chuck for jam chucks. I also use like this bowl over here, but if you don't have any of those, you can go straight with your uh, chuck. And what I do is I just place the bowl right up, you know, just put it right inside of here. Then I bring the tenon right up to the bottom of the piece. There's a little dimple in the bottom of all my bowls down here and you know that's the center of the bottom right there then I just tighten it up and um, turn it up that way and then this is the way I do all the all of my bowls um, I, now I can turn the back side of the bowl a heck of a lot easier and I don't have to worry about getting in between my headstock and everything else but uh, I even put my finish on this way but, um, all you got to do then is, you know, just bring your tailstock up or your tool post, I should say. Just bring it right up. That's how I do it. It's just a, a simple little jam chuck. I uh, hope that helps you out. But give it a try with a lot of your stuff. Um, I'll do this side first like this. Then I'll flip it over and grab the other side, finish the inside. And then um, when it comes time to putting a finish on or something like that, I'll just put like a, you know, t-shirt or a cloth um, on the inside to protect it from getting all scratched up and stuff. But this works really, really well for doing the backside of bowls and reducing your tenons. So hopefully that helps you out. Sorry about that last bowl. Take care.